guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing another Stormworks tutorial video, and I know it's been forever since um, we've done one, but anyways, this is about making a custom sliding door. It comes out and then goes that way. So let's go ahead and try to do this here. So first off, we need our door to go outwards. By doing that, we're going to be using a compact linear track base and compact linear track extensions. So just simply place this down like that. So now that that goes outwards, we need to go have it go this way. So have have it kind of somewhat um, like this and then have it go uh, one moment, like this. Okay, that's good. Now, all we need to do is make the rest of the door just like that. And I'm actually just going to make this one and have it just like that. Now, you can pretty much put this track wherever you want. Um, anyways. Um, then decorate the door, whatever, um, yeah, just like that, and I'm just gonna label this door. Okay, anyways, uh, for the actual logic, if you are in advanced mode, you'll need electricity, so go and place that down, two capacitators, just like that, switch box, and two constant numbers. Now, first things first, one of these constant numbers needs to be at 1, and 1's going to be negative 1. Uh, put charge time, I'm just going to do this right now, like that, 0 seconds, okay. Now, this is the one that starts immediately, okay. Um, now that we have that, get our one, our constant number that has a value of one, click on it, drag it to the on values of our switch boxes, and I need another switch box. Um, so on, and then drag the other constant number to off. Now that we have that done, we need to like connect the um, capacitors so one will be delayed and I have no clue which one that is so I'm just randomly connecting everything um, and hope this is going to work so I forgot electricity okay so basically it's saying um, what so when the capacitor gets a value it basically is going, hey, wait this long, and then sends it to this, and then this is like, hey, if we get a value, if this is switches on, then the first value that we get will send this to our switched value, and if there is no signal, this will be an off, and same with this. So, let's hope I connected everything right, which I most likely did not. Okay, I believe I have fixed this. Yes, indeed I have. So, it now goes ahead, opens, you click it again, it goes, waits half a, sec half a second, and then closes. Now, um, you can tell it's kind of hitting the edge here. So, what I want to do is I want to change the time on this for, I don't know, one point. Actually, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to do one second and one second. Now, it should indeed work pretty well. Goes out, waits one second, holds it back, goes back, waits one second, holds it back in. Now you can tweak the like the timing on these 
so it fits much better and also move the track wherever you'd like because right now it's kind of just in the middle of absolutely nowhere so it's not the best thing in the world but yeah and anyways i think that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching and yeah see you guys in the next video